Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And topic is sticky skin. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know. And now I come to the topic, what is sticky skin? You know the sticky or the clammy skin uh, can be caused by a variety of problems and uh, some of which uh, require the emergency medical care. And the moistness of the sticky skin is the result of sweating and any number of things can cause you to sweat excessively uh, from shock or the heart attack to an infection or the panic attack you know. And to relieve the uh, clamminess uh, the underlying cause needs to be treated and if the cause seems life-threatening uh, you should seek the medical emergency help right away so don't delay the next thing is what are the causes of uh, sticky skin you know the sticky or the moist skin may be uh, caused by number of uh, conditions you know and there are several underlying causes that produce the uh, clammy skin that can be life-threatening and that may include like uh, heart conditions like heart attack or heart failure or maybe endocarditis you know uh, shock uh, hy uh, hypoxemia you know uh, which is uh, means the low oxygen levels in the blood you know internal bleeding heat exhaustion and bites you know like uh, from the insects or from the animals you know that produce the clammy skin from the pain from the shock or due to the venom you know and uh, there are many different types of the infections which may be treatable uh, produce the fever in body as well as the uh, clammy skin you know and they may include like influenza or maybe mononucleosis or uh, uh, kidney infection pancreatitis and uh, like valley fever you know and there are further common causes uh, that can cause this condition and uh, do not necessarily require the emergency treatment like uh, panic attacks or maybe hypoglycemia or uh, hypertension you know or uh, hyperthyroidism or uh, uh, menopause often results in sweating you know so which usually don't lead any emergency treatment you know and uh, alcohol withdrawal syndrome can also cause you the like uh, this uh, sticky skin you know and the treatment uh, or the sticky skin uh, you know it depends on the underlying cause the emergency situations require the immediate uh, medical attention you know and this includes like heart attacks or shocks or maybe heat exhaustion and internal bleeding and the maybe venomous or the severe bites you know and some of the infections that cause the uh, clamminess can be treated such as those caused by bacteria and others like influenza and the mononucleosis uh, must simply run their course you know and you don't need, you need any treatment and you will be okay within a week time you know and other possible causes uh, may be treatable but require a diagnosis from your doctor and if you are experiencing sticky skin and you have no explanation for it and the best thing is you should see your doctor for further evaluation you know you know sticky skin or uh, the clammy skin can be a sign of life-threatening condition and if you or someone around you is experiencing the stickiness of the skin along with the other symptoms like uh, uh, chest pain or maybe rapid heartbeat or difficulty in uh, uh, breathing you know or uh, uh, bluish color of the uh, fingernails or the lips or dizziness or confusion or uh, uh, rapid heartbeat you know uh, it could be an emergency so you should consult the emergency services straight away don't ignore now many of the cases of the sticky skin are not life-threatening and they are treatable and they can be treated properly you know and once you treat the underlying cause uh, it will get better you know and the many infections uh, run their uh, course and they don't need any treatment they will clear up with the even without treatment you know for example viral infections you know 
and uh, the panic attack disorders can be treated with uh, counseling and the medications and the conditions like uh, hypothyroidism or hypotension or hypoglycemia you know or hyperthyroidism you know or the menopause they can be managed and the symptoms reduce can be reduced by the lifestyle changes or the medications you know uh, when this condition is uh, the result of the life threat incident like heart attack or shock or then the outlook depends on the reaction time how quickly uh, you reach to the emergency department you know, and how quickly the treatment stops okay thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com goodbye